Lot number 112 is a 2007 Ford Escape. This one's got low miles, 52,000, but it appears to have a bad alternator. I have it running with the jump box, but as soon as I disconnect that, it will shut off. The motor sounds good, transmission engages, and AC is cold. But again, it appears to have a bad alternator. That battery is dead. So it's gonna need a battery and an alternator, as far as I can tell. The motor sounds good. I'll show you how it shuts off. As soon as you disconnect it, it shuts off. So it leads me to believe that it's a bad alternator. The body is straight. The paint looks very moldy. This car has been sitting out here for a long time. The headlights are dull, the bumpers are faded. The paint is moldy. It's got scratches from decal removal and minor things and dents all around. It's got tinted windows that are peeling. All the bumpers are faded. The tires look fair. I don't know how old they are and they don't look dry rotted. Here's the passenger side, body is straight. Paint looks rough. Interior looks good. The driver's seat is torn right there and it shows wear. The rest of the interior looks good. Here's the passenger seat. It's not torn. All the door panels are in place and look good. The dashboard is not cracked. Steering wheel looks good. It's got 52,000 miles. Got power door locks and power windows. Rear seat looks good. Headliner's nice. It's hanging in the front, I'm sorry. Headliner, it looks good all the way around, but it's hanging in the front. It's a common thing on these. Shame. Let's check the back door. Back door opens as it should. Interior looks good. Needs a good cleaning. And the tinted windows should be removed because they're, they're peeling and they look very rough. All right, well, there you have it. It's a 2007 Ford Escape. The paint looks moldy, interior looks good. It will need an alternator. It sounds like it has a bad alternator and a bad battery. It's lot number 112. Good luck.